And I'd also like to thank uh, Deputy O'Callaghan and the Social Democrats for bringing the motion before the House today, <clears throat> because it gives us the opportunity to speak for the thousands of people and the thousands of families that fail policies of feeling fall and find gay and have over the years locked out of housing. Tipperary has witnessed a house price increase of 14.3% year on year. That's according to the latest staff.ie report. But it doesn't stop there. If you're a family looking to get out of the strangled rental market, the cost of a three-bed semi-detached house has increased a staggering 17.7% in the last year. Yet the very same county was excluded from the government's list of 18 local authorities identified for their affordable housing programme up to 2026. But even if Tipperary were in the plan, it would have to share a grand total of 60 million with the other counties, while you put 450 million in the pockets of developers. Unaffordable housing impacts the purchase market and also the rental market. It keeps housing lists long and prolongs the uncertainty so many families are dealing with daily. So where are we, are we at in Tipperary? Well, it's becoming increasingly common in Tipperary to meet people who have no choice but to seek emergency accommodation from the local authority. But it's also becoming increasingly common to hear that the local authorities say that they are having difficulty getting emergency accommodation for those people and for those families. So they are the people who this government is leaving without any protection. The other family sleeping in cares on sofas are packed into box rooms while you put money into the pockets of developers who seek to maximise their returns. It gives subsidies to private developers up to 144,000 for apartments outside of Dublin to give them a profit margin. Yet it does absolutely nothing for the people who are locked out of the market. This forces the price upwards and continues the cycle of unaffordable housing and the lack of supply. Yet you guarantee profits for developers while turning the screw further on those who have put, you have put on the outside and who are forced to look in helpless. Last week, Sinn Féin called on the government to direct the funding to this scheme and the shared equity scheme into the delivery of an average of at least 4,000 genuinely affordable homes to buy each year. We would ensure that local authorities and approved housing bodies are adequately resourced to deliver affordable homes to rent and buy. That is the future, not the politics and actions of this government who increase housing costs and limit supply.